I get asked this question all the time. What's enough? What is enough work? What does it take to become a champion? And after coaching athletes since 2002, strength and conditioning, and even the years before that, being a sports coach, I've seen what it takes. And yeah, there are those outliers for the kids that maybe don't do the work, they slack, they find excuses versus finding a way. And sure, some of those kids succeed at the highest levels because they've got a lot of talent. But I could count those kids on one, maybe two hands. So number one, you've got to be a great athlete. Have the skills for your sport, but be athletic. Each sport requires athleticism. So when we talk about sport-specific training, that's your sport. And I always recommend doing multiple sports, not just one. But for people who are duped by sport-specific training, hey, put me on those speed ladders. When do your feet move like that on the field? <laughs> Never. So number one, have great sports skills. You gotta be great at it. Number two, raise your hand if you want to be weaker. Raise your hand if you want to be slower. Raise your hand if you want to have a lack of self-confidence. I'm sure that anybody who is a successful athlete, successful person, did not raise their hand. So this is what happens when you train with us at the underground. You get stronger, you get faster, you get more explosive, you get tougher, you build confidence and you have greater self-belief. You are destroying mediocrity. You are denying average. You are denying normalcy. So what does that mean? What is normal? Normal is you just play the sport and then you just lift at school or you go to the local Globo gym where everybody else around you is gossiping, checking their cell phone, checking their hair in the mirror, but not you. You don't want to be average. You don't want to be normal. People who are normal do the normal things. You have to avoid being normal. And for those of you that say you don't have time, really? We've got athletes that have a 4.2 GPA. They're in honors classes. They are all state athletes. They are getting scholarships to Ivy League schools. And you wanna know what? They never stop training. They do their sports and they train, even if they train once a week. Once a week is 100% more than zero. And when does it really count? At the end of the season, when you have your competitions, if you've been skipping those in-season workouts, skipping them all together, four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, now we're 10 weeks into the season, you haven't done any strength work, you've gotten slower, you've lost speed, you're starting to second guess your preparation because you wonder, man, I've been training, I could have been stronger, I'm feeling a little bit tired, I'm feeling like this is too much. So you followed the normal way. You followed the actions of the average athlete who says, I'm too busy, I'm too tired. But if we look at the amount of time you spend on that cell phone, staring at it, wasting away your time, you've used up plenty of time that could have been implemented in training with us at least once a week. Once a week, 100% more than zero. What are some other things it takes to be successful? You've got to be coachable. You've got to listen to your coaches. The training we're putting you through is only to make you better. And that might mean mental training, physical training. It all goes hand in hand. Great athletes are not just great at sports skills. They are tough. They can handle setbacks and bounce back quickly and perform at a high level. They can handle the bumps in the road. They see obstacle as opportunity. Instead of struggle, they view a way to find it as a strength. Something tough comes up, perhaps a tragedy. They turn it around into triumph. Is that you? You will not be as confident as you can if you do not prepare. Confidence in your sports performance comes through belief in your preparation. If you prepare to the best of your ability, the way we train you at the underground, then you will perform at the best of your ability. And 
for those of you that do all the right things that we give you guidelines about your nutrition guidelines lifestyle guidelines mindset the books to read all the little things to do now you are going to follow the three p's prepare perform and ultimately prevail if you're really that busy and can't show up once a week then the competition is going to pass you by ultimately you've got to decide do i want to be great or do i want to be average great athletes you know that it's going to take the greatest effort of your life with consistency not just training hard when it's convenient because convenience and excellence are never found on the same road good enough is the death of greatness are you training to be good or are you training to be great deep down you know the answer you can have excuses or you can have results but you cannot have both see you at the underground strategy